What is going on everybody? I am your average gamer and today man we have one serious topic to discuss. Now I went on a rant on the last two videos I made about this game saying that I hate and love it because of certain reasons. You know whether it was skill based matchmaking either that I suck and I'm just getting shit on or that the guns are too good. Now to be fair there's been some changes nothing super crazy but as a whole I've been enjoying the game significantly more than when the game was at launch okay i think it's in a better state right now i do hope that there are some minor you know tweaks and fixes that will keep the game having some life but something in particular that i want to talk about man these freaking cheaters bro like i i ran into legitimately probably about five hackers today alone and in total probably around 15 and the guy that god knows how many more Bro, this dude's so fucking good, man. He's cheating, bro. Is he cheating? Yeah, he's cheating. They complete those daily challenges and then win games. Damn, did he just four piece headshot us? Is that what just happened? Might have. Oh, he's cheating. Bruh. Oh, he's there already. Wow. He lost that round. He's Prepare for the next now. one. This dude's cheating, bro. I promise you. Bro, no one's warning, bro. Stop yeah, being a snitch. Bro. Why are you being a snitch, bro? Bro, quit dick riding him, bro. That shit ain't even funny. Dude, like, I've been quit watching dick riding, this bro. camera, bro. Bro, just Find check out, check out my YouTube, bro. Now check out my YouTube, man. bro. Face it, that game, bro. Yo, bro, how, like, sad I love of that game. My life. A Wait, yeah, dick riding right here. You're just mad and shit hey, better than you. Nah, bro. Hey, why are you being a pussy? Right Who's being a pussy? Yo, you, you, you dirty UK fuck. Call me Avenger. Learn to fucking read, you dumb fuck. Yeah. Well, this is all I get these fucking cheating lobbies, bro. Like, I've gotten like five today, bro. <laughs> Almost pissed off. Hey, pussy. GG's, bro. Look at you walling like crazy, bro. You're so ugly, dude. Look at the Why, Look bro? At the Why? Bro, he's legit, bro. He's not Shut acting, the bro. fuck up. He you already know acting, he is. Bro. You're level 23. He's you wouldn't not. know shit. I swear to God, bro. He's not acting. No, he's just he's just a good teammate, bro. Hey, take he's me back to the Boston Tea Jersey, Party. Dude, how you know? New Jersey. Yeah, your jersey's gonna be in the rafters after this game, bro. Professional meat muncher bouncing all over. Dude, it's crazy that your teammate's calling you out, bro. Your teammate. Damn. He's on your team saying this. Now, what's really sad about this entire thing is that I do actually enjoy the game. It's not it's not awful. You know, there are things that I absolutely hate. I will forever hate the skill-based matchmaking. Like, I know some people joke around about it or maybe they're really serious about it. Me, personally, I'm stupid serious about it. Because whenever I get on this game, I can't play to relax, man. I'm telling you. Of course, every now and then I'll get a very leisure lobby. But I want that to be so much more frequent. I'm not like I don't even do well in those lobbies. That's not you know why I want you know those particular lobbies. It's just dude the amount of sweating that I have to go through just people being so good at the game and I'm not locked in all the time. You know I'm not doing great 24/7. So to be put against these you know cod next kids, it's it's aggravating. It makes me not want to play the game whatsoever. And it's just, you know, like I said, super aggravating. I understand it's a part of Call of Duty, but I can't deal with it personally. What makes this entire thing worse is that the higher your SBMM is, the more likely you're going to run into cheaters. You know, like, and that's 
super aggravating. So when the game first came out, I had to deal with a bunch of people using metal weapons and just holding angles. Such a dick. <laughs> there was a game I was playing yesterday with my friends, dude, and we were playing Domination, and we had two flags captured. They didn't give a fuck about the objective, dude. They didn't move. We're playing Terminal. This dude was sitting Burger Town. The other dude was just sitting in their spawn, holding angles with ARs, you know? And the reason that they have this incentive is because these guns beam. So why would they move when a target's going to slide in front of them and get absolutely slaughtered? The alternative option is to not go look for anyone or not try to get any kills. So, like, it's this uncomfortable position of playing the game where it's like, at times you're having fun. You know, and then other times you're getting shit on, you're running into cheaters. Uh, and then it's also just an aggravating game on top of that. Being killed by riot shields, campers, you know, all that type of stuff. So it's like, you don't even have to be good at the game to be aggravating. And then of course, if you're good at the game and you're just slide canceling YYing, just dumping on everybody in the lobby, it's it's quite aggravating. <laughs> you know, like, especially if you're the only person doing that. Now, from my from my own perspective, I keep running into teams of people that just, you know, really care. And you can tell that they care by the name that they chose to play the game. Like, they're like four or five letters long. It's like super sweaty. It's like, as soon as you see that, you're like, bro, I'm just going to get shit on. And then more times than not, it's 100% true, you know. It's, it's, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't consider myself great at the game to be constantly put against those individuals. What I do? Why my name get called? <laughs> I had people in my last video saying that I was complaining, crying, or bitching, or whatever it is. You're damn fucking right. Alright, I'm passionate about video games. Call of Duty was one of the first video games that I've ever got into. I'm going to voice my opinions, right? So, I don't give a fuck if it sounds like I'm complaining or crying or whatever. However you guys perceive it, right? I think we can all agree, Call of Duty is a dog shit game. Right? I think it's just, as a whole, it's really, really bad. Now, of course, there are some fun mechanics to it, but, you know, it's crazy that you get on the game and you expect to run into these types of things. And it's frustrating, and it's like we pay 70 to to $100 to pray and hope that it doesn't happen again just for them to fuck us. You know, it's just, it's crazy. Of course, they're not going to care, and a majority of us are going to end up paying for the next game anyway. But this should be like a mandatory refund, because this is nuts, like like an apology letter. Of course, they're not going to do any of that, but this has gotten ridiculous. And I know I'm not the only person experiencing these types of things, dude. I honestly believe that this game is gradually making me more insane. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a very competitive person. Anytime that I'm doing bad, I'm not feeling so good, you know? So this game just aggravates me because I'm not doing great all the time. Again, I don't have to do great, but it's why I'm doing bad. Does that make sense? Getting dumpstered on by people that are running around with ARs and just are so passionate about gaming can get quite frustrating. <laughs> Literally looked into the face of death. <laughs> and then to just add some salt in the freaking wound, man. I feel like skill based matchmaking is ridiculous for one reason only. It's like they give you other people that, you know, aren't so good sometimes, and then there's like two or three people that are insane. But why is it that majority of the people in my team are so bad? You know? Like, especially compared to the people that we're playing against. That, that, I can't drop 15 kills and lose. Like, that can't happen. If I, if, if I lose 6-3 and I drop 15 and the next person underneath me has, like, 5 or 4, there needs to be a serious conversation had. Now, listen. Who really cares if you're good or bad at the game? You know, it's not that I want the best of the best on my team, but when I feel like I'm out here playing against some competitive, like, scrim type of games... And then I die and I'm spectating somebody that just has bomb in sight not doing anything and it's a 7v5. It's, again, how many times do I got to say this? It's aggravating, dude. And then you, you play a game and you have so much fun in that game. People are laughing and just having a good time. It's like I've had that quite a bit in this game as well. But I want more of it. I need it so much more than whatever I'm playing right now.
Anyway, I know this was just a crazy rant about the game. I just needed to get a few things off of my chest. I want to know your guys' experience with this game in particular. I know a lot of people have different feelings about Call of Duty, but ever since you started playing this game, what's your overall feelings about it? Are you enjoying it? Do you hate it? Have you played it once, never turned it on? Have you been addicted to it? I'm just curious, you know, because for me personally, it's like, I, I do like the game. I, I'm playing it every single day for a little bit. You know, I want to get on, hit a few clips, or just try to hit a few clips. And then I run into all the issues that I've ran into. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, sub would, of course, be in the world. Be sure to check out all my other content. I play and post a lot of different video games. As always, I love y'all, and I hope you guys stay smooth. Peace. Ah, a bond. Oh, my God. Let me turn game. Oh my god. That was indeed my quad. And you took it. Hostile eliminated. I gotta reload. What is that? Whoa. Revenge isn't No!